Hey everyone, Aaron here with a different kind of cut and today we are going to be cutting up a top butt which is actually beef. Um, it's going to be cut into a couple different kind of steaks. We're going to do um, top sirloin steak and then we're also going to take the culotte off here and turn that into um, kebab meat. So let's get started. We'll also show you today on how to cut up stir fry and where it comes from off of the top butt. Okay. And these, you know, just like everything else, you can get at the local grocery store. Um, you just tell them you want a whole top sirloin and this is what it's going to look like when they, when they give it to you. So it has a fat cap on the top, this part here, and it also has a chunk of fat that runs along through here. This is more like uh, suet. You do not want to save that for like your, you know, making your grinds and stuff. I'm going to take that. I'm going to throw it away. And then we got a little bit of silver skin up on the top here. We're going to take that, clean it up. And also, basically this is where bone rides. So it turns it into a callus on the, on the meat. We're also going to take that off, clean it up. Turn it into steaks. We're also going to make stir fry out of it. And like I said, right here, we're going to take this culotte out. Um, it's basically the call to cap. We're going to take that off and we're going to turn it into kebab meat. So I'm going to show you first how to trim up the outside. It's a lot easier to trim up a top sirloin when it's whole like this versus if you were to cut it into steaks and then um, go to trim off the fat afterwards. It's pretty sloppy meat so when you go to take your cut off the, the cap wants to kind of fold on you every time you cut it. So I'm going to show you how to cut it without, without cutting it first and then taking the fat off. We're going to cut the fat off first so that way it's a little easier to cut into steaks and you don't have to trim it up afterwards. So you're going to want to take all this silver skin off here. I'm just going to kind of ride it up like that. I'm going to take that, throw it in the grind for later. Then, clean this guy up here so all this silver skin we're just going to take off just like that okay so now like I said we got to get this stuff out of here so you just take the knife the tip of your knife and pop it through where you want to take off so like let's say I got this piece here, you know it's sitting right on the top here, and you don't want to go too deep, so you're just bare, basically going right underneath and taking that off, like that. Okay, just like that. Same thing with this, you can, you can actually put your finger through here, and you can see that that needs to, that needs to go. This is all going to come off. We're going to throw that right into trim. Now, that piece that I was telling you about that's pretty much like suet, it's good for the birds, not for your grind. We're going to take that off as well. And you can pretty much, pretty much pull it, but we're going to just take a little wedge cut out here, just like that. Okay. That's going in trim. Okay. Take a little bit out at a time, just like that. Now, there's a little bit of meat left on here and you can take that off just like that. And the rest, I'm gonna toss away. I'm not gonna turn that into burger. But this little bit of meat here, you can either finish taking it off and turn it into stir fry, you know, just a little slice like that there, okay. that would make really good stir fry, okay, a little bit, the rest is going to go right in the grind, okay, so now you got the bottom of this all cleaned up nicely, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this nugget of fat right off the corner here, just like that, and that you can turn into grind. Okay, so then we're going to flip it over. Now we're looking at the top of the sirloin. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to feel it. 
And when you feel it's real hard, that's where a lot of fat's gonna be sitting. So like here, you can see the silver skin, so there's no fat there already. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda lightly take off the spots that have a lot of fat on them. So this one here is actually pretty lean. It doesn't have a whole ton of fat on it. So we're gonna take off minimal. We're not gonna take off a whole lot. There's still, you can see right here, you can feel it, it's hard. That's fat, that needs to come out. We're just gonna kinda just wedge it out, just like this, okay? So now, we're just gonna kinda skim coat this. Just basically taking off a skim coat because you wanna leave a little bit of fat on the steak to make it presentable if you're ever gonna put it into a service counter or let's say you work for a grocery store, you wanna make it presentable, you're gonna leave a little bit of that on. Plus it also adds flavor to your steaks. So we're just taking off a light slice of fat across the top just to clean it up bring out that white bright white fat look to it okay so when we go to cut it it'll look nice as a steak so there's a certain way you need to cut this and the way that you need to cut it is against the grain okay so the, you can see the grain is running kind of like like this you can see all the the lines of fat and stuff going this way now this little end here you can see it's flat here that is the cut, the way that you need to cut this. So you need to be parallel to this end here. So it's gonna go chop, 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 like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this first as I'm gonna take off a facing because this first facing is probably the worst steak out of all of them. It's, it's the end cut and there's a lot of gristle. You can see it, it's just, it's a mound of gristle up in here. So we're gonna cut that off, but we're gonna stay parallel to this cut right here. So we have nice straight cuts coming off of here and we're gonna be right on the money for the way that we need to cut this. So I'm gonna show you how to cut the first steak if I was gonna cut this all into steaks, but because I'm gonna take this and turn half of it into kebab meat because I like kebabs. Um, so I'm gonna cut the first steak out of it so you can see how you would cut the rest of them. And then I'm gonna show you how to take the culotte off, the top cap. We're gonna take that off and turn that into kebab meat. So I'm gonna take off roughly about an inch off of here and that's gonna get us our facing. We're gonna cut that off just like so. If you look, right, there's a lot of gristle, a lot of fat, a lot of, a lot of stuff that in here that's not gonna make a good steak. So that one's coming off, that one's going away, okay? So then, on to our next steak. So my next steak, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut it roughly about an inch and a half. And all the steaks after that should be right around the same size. Okay, just like that, okay? So now this is a full top sirloin steak with the culotte on, the top cap. So if you were to ever go into a butcher and ask for the top cap off of a top sirloin or um, a, top, a top butt, this is what you're looking for. It's called a culotte. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this, if I were to ever throw this into a service counter, I want it to look nice. This looks nice the way it is. If you zoom in on that, take a look at it, it looks pretty nice. But I can make this look a lot nicer if I cut it in half. Cause you see this gristle that runs through here and this fat down here. I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm gonna take this thing. I'm gonna cut it right at that gristle. Just like that. And then I'm gonna notch that gristle out that runs through the top sirloin. Just like that, okay? And then on the bottom of this other half here, I'm just going to take off that little chunk of fat. And then when I put these two together, just like this, I can put them into a service counter. They look 10 times better. So if you were to ever to get a job and wanna, wanna show people how to 
cut a top sirloin a little bit different. That's the way you do it. Okay. So now I got two really nice steaks. They're cut at a you know inch and a half. This one's got the top cap on it. This one does not. Because I cut them in half and I took the gristle out, you're gonna get a better quality steak. Um, if you wanna go a little bit further, you can also take this bottom end off here, right? Because there's a little bit of gristle down there. Take that off. And now you got two really good eating steaks that you can serve to anybody. And they were like, wow, this is top sirloin. Yeah, it is. And you cut it up. So we got those two there. Really nice steaks. Now I'm gonna show you how to take the top off. Super simple. It basically just peels right off. Okay? So, like that. Take your knife, just kind of score it a little bit. Just like that, okay? We're gonna set that aside for later. We're gonna cut that up into um, some kebab meat. So now, your, your roast is ready to cut. And this is technically a top sirloin roast right now. If you ever ordered a top sirloin roast, this is what it would look like, pretty much. So we're gonna cut that up, and if you notice here, this little tiny spot here, that's pretty much like the very last cut off of the New York Strip. So that's actually gonna be one of your best cuts, is this tiny little guy right here. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll cut it up into steaks and make the rest of the, the, rest of the steaks out of this roast. And like I said before in my last video, you wanna make sure that your steaks are nice and even all the way around, same height, you know, you want to make sure that they're nice and square. Obviously not square, but they're going to be square based on the thickness. So I'm going to take the bottom off of this one, because like I said, I like my steaks to be nice and lean and not have this gristle running through it. We're going to just grind it. So we got a few more steaks coming off of here. I'm making these steaks pretty, pretty thick. You know, so if you were to pull this roast out and do it on your own, most likely you're going to cut them a little bit thinner just because you want to get more steaks out of it, which is not, not a big deal. I mean, they're still going to turn out really good. I'm going to cut this bottom off here again, just like that. And now we got two really nice big steaks almost the size of a top round um, but not now you see this one here is a little bit of a wedge cut you can see how it's like angled down here and that's because i was going off of this edge here right this little tiny edge here is what my cuts were based off of so what i'm going to do is i'm going to square it up just like that okay that is going to be turned into stir fry okay and then I'm also going to square this end up, okay? So now I've got a nice square top sirloin. So we'll set these aside because I, uh, I got one, two, uh, three, four, five nice steaks. Or I can go like this, cut them in half. So I got five. Let's see, how many do I got here? Six, and then this is the other part that I was telling you about that I like to try to trim out a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll just notch that out and it'll just give you a better grilling experience, you know, so that way you're not chewing on gristle. Just take that out, throw it away, and there you go. You got a nice looking steak. It's gonna turn out good on the grill. Okay, so we are gonna go back to the kebab meat. This is the culotte, it's called the top cap. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just basically trim off this silver skin. Get her started, and you're just gonna kinda skim coat it, take it off, get your knife underneath there. And I always try to stick my knife in, pull out, and then pull back. You know, if you can get your knife underneath that way, it works a little better than trying to, you know, get underneath it going that way. It just it just works better. So we're gonna do the same thing. Take all this off because we're gonna turn this into some really nice looking kebab meat. So so take a look at this. 
I'm taking all the fat off, but I'm not getting the silver skin. So you're basically just skimming off all the fat. So that way you're not digging into too much meat for when it comes time to do your silver skin. Okay, so take all that off. Now, like I said before, you can get your knife up underneath that silver skin and then pull back. Just like that. Okay. Okay, we got all the silver skin off. And now we got some really nice looking kebab meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue that cut that we were cutting earlier, just like that. Okay, that I'm gonna put into stir fry. So we'll just slice it real thin, put it in a stir fry. And these guys are gonna be our kebab meat. Nice little squares, perfect for the grill. Pretty much almost identical in size, so that way they'll cook evenly. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so now we got, you know, you put usually five on a, a stick. I mean, you got probably, let's see here. Yeah, there you go. You got roughly, roughly four kebabs you can make with that. You know, I mean, it all depends on how much, how much meat you want to actually put on your kebab. But okay, so now we are on to the stir fry. So what we're gonna do is the rest of this stuff here is gonna make really good stir fry as long as it doesn't have gristle mixed in with it. So you're gonna want to take all the fat off of it and just kind of trim it up to as lean as possible as you can get it. So then, you know, you can, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, this one's pretty thick, so what you can do is you can take it and just make it a little bit thinner if you want to, or you can pull it this way too, make it a little bit thinner, okay? And then you wanna just slice it real thin into strips, just like that. And it doesn't really matter if you're going with the grain or against the grain when it comes to stir fry. Um, it all works out pretty good. So take this last little bit of meat that we got here and we will turn it into stir fry. Okay. Just like that. So this one here is the first cut off of that top sirloin or top butt and it still has a little bit of that culotte meat on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that into kebab meat. So you ended up with a little bit more kebab meat than you thought. Okay. Good. Same deal with this one. We're just gonna basically try to get as much meat off of it as we can to make into our stir fry. And it's kinda, kinda hidden all over the place on this one just because it has so much fat running through it. You just clean it up the best you can and turn it into Stir fry, just like that. Okay, there's still quite a bit of meat on here, and we will take all that off. Just like that. You know, and it all depends on how you like your stir fry. If you want your your stir fry strips a little bit thicker, then leave this leave the chunk of meat a little bit thicker when you go to cut it. You know, so it, it all depends on, you know, what you want. I prefer my, you know, stir fry a little thinner. So that way it makes it a little bit more tender. 
so it falls apart basically after you get done cooking it um, it'll still hold together but when you go to when you go to eat it it'll be nice and tender for you so same thing with this chunk of meat I'm just taking off all of the fat all of the silver skin and the tendons and stuff I just want to make sure that it's going to be nice and nice and tender for you when you go to cook it up the other thing you can use this for is like taco tacos you can make use it into taco meat put it in tacos be pretty good so it all depends on how much time you actually want to work on this thing I'm probably gonna throw the rest of it right into burger because I don't need to stir fry a whole lot but this little guy here I'm not even gonna waste my time on it's going into burger so this is what we ended up getting out of that top sirloin, top butt roast. We got uh, stir fry, we got kebab meat, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven really nice steaks. Um, if you wanted to, like I said, you can always cut them up thinner and make more. You probably get 14 steaks out of this whole roast if you wanted to. Um, but I like my steaks a little thicker, especially with top sirloin because it's a real lean piece of meat. When you go to cook it on the grill, you don't want it to dry out. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. That's what you got there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this helped you out. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe.